I'm really going to keep it 100 with you all on this one. I saw this film and I thought, man, surprised by the outcome of checking out the new film, Run Nixon. And we're here to bring you that review right now. I really need that big old bell. I saw it and I said, oh, I, I, I'm not sure. And the reason was because there wasn't so many familiar names attached to it. One of the familiar names was Little Fizz. Being the lead of a film, it reeks a certain DNA and aesthetic, shall I say, and the type of film quality I thought I was going to get. I was not familiar with the co-writer and director, Sky Directs. A lot of perspective and hard work that got this film done. Nonetheless, this film was actually really good. I had a really good time with this film. Being said, Lil Fizz plays Dre uh, Nixon, who's played by Emperor. This young kid is talented, um, but I'm definitely looking to see more of this young kid. He's definitely on his way. But the standout of this film, hands down, is our bad guy, our villain. You know, or truly just the person who wants to get their money back in Slice, played by Jordan Lee Brown. This guy, I truly mean it. This guy is one to watch. His performance in this is low-key one of the best performances I've seen this year. You really bought into him in terms of being uh, this gangster, just how menacing he is and how he's strategizing, you know, trying to get back at Dre. I mean, you just buy into this character instantly. You, you, you fear this guy. It's definitely a guy you don't want to run into. Not Jordan, but Slice. But Jordan puts on a performance that totally is worth the watch of this film alone. And then I got to put respect on Little Fizz. Little Fizz definitely held it down as Dre. He just blew my mind. Whatever bit of hesitation I had with him in terms of being an actor here, he, he definitely held it down. As an independent film, this film did a lot of good things. The production was solid. When I take a look at Sky Direct's background in terms of music videos, um, you see that aesthetic. Uh, there's there's very good cinematography in this film, good music. Like the, the, the score and the soundtrack just takes this movie to the next level, but it all comes together very well, much like how you want in a music video, but it just took that and gave you a feature length film. So like overall, the story is good. Um, the twist, the twist. The twist, the thing I you don't want to give away here. The twist at the end of the film I thought was very good. I didn't see it coming. You also see this. Run Nixon, now playing in AMC theaters.